with these niggas. <laughs> oh, I cried laughing when I was <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we need to stay away from these niggas. <laughs> hey, Couture Bays, it's your girl, Brie Brat, going live with the Retalk and Bay Squad. We got some mess. Now, before we get started, let's like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get all the updates and alerts. And remember, opinions are not facts. Everything we say here is allegedly and for entertainment purposes solely. So sit back, relax, sip you some apple juice or my faith if you can water, and let's get into the mess, shall we? I see one more person say something about my nose one more time it's gonna be hell to pay and you know why cuz i am black i love my nose what is you concerned about my nose for leave me the hell alone <laughs> Woo child, Holly cannot be serious, but you know how the pregnant girls be. They just be in their feelings. The hormones be raging, so it is what it is. At the end of the day, your baby father, DDG, told us you was having a baby, and so now we're patiently waiting for the birth announcement or whatever. It is what it is. We knew when you started wearing winter clothes in the summertime. We knew when you was taking photos and videos from the breast up. We knew when we saw you waddling, girl, in his video. But let's get into these critiques of the Diddy versus Cassie lawsuit, child. Voice. So this doesn't happen to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I'm going, I'm doing this. It's not about the money. It's about this not happening to somebody else. But then you get enough money and you set the f up. So which one is it? That's what I, that's my question. Is Are we trying to be the voice to, so this doesn't happen to somebody else or are we going to grab this money and shut the f up? That's what I was saying. Okay. And my opinion on that is that if you listen to Cassie, I'm agreeing with you, and that's fine. They, you're, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I don't agree. This is what I'm saying. Number one, it was civil. Civil means money. So there was never any kind of dispute about what was going on here. There was never a dispute about what was the aim here. This is not a criminal case. He did not take a criminal case and make it civil. She did not start cooperating with the cops and then change up. She was in a civil case from the beginning, which meant she wanted money. If you listen to Cassie, Cassie's been saying, I've been asking Puff for money for years. And this nigga been shit on me. So I said, this is what's about to happen. I'm going to write this book. I'm going to get my money some kind of way. I'm going to get my money some kind of way. So it's a money grab. You agree with me? I'm not agreeing with you because Cassie never came out and said that she didn't want money. Cass, the, what Cassie did was exactly what she was supposed to do. And I'm not saying nobody's guilty because obviously everybody knows our relationship with Puff. Everybody knows our relationship with Cassie now. So right. all I'm saying is this. I'm not saying that Puff is guilty or innocent. This is not about that. It's not about innocence or guilt. It's about Cat, what, what happened that we all know publicly. Cassie said she wanted to. She opened the door. She opened the door. So now all these girls she asked for seeing. for the money. He didn't do it. So she so she put the the she put she started putting the stuff out. You knew what you know. There's a stat. There's a New York precedent that says that. And I'm gonna have to get Monique on here because Monique just broke it down for me. The the um the the, the New York precedent. With that coming back and getting Bill Cosby, coming back and getting Puff. I don't believe in that, man. When shit go down, speak on that shit right then or it's out of there. It should be null and void. You shouldn't even have no type of nothing. You should be you shouldn't be able to do shit unless you motherfucker let the people know what happened immediately. It should be a time limit on this shit. What happened was you was trying you got around them motherfucking stand up on love shit. This is what happened. I'm gonna tell you what always happened, right? You was with a billionaire with all this bread all this time and then you went followed your heart to f with a trainer that motherfucking apartment got smiled in the bitch that lifestyle fell off now it's struggle time the love wearing off and now you trying to come up with ways to figure out how to get paid now I, now i'm healed and i can talk about it i want to expose niggas in my books you did that you you participated you ain't saying for nothing you did that so stand on that man quit trying to expose people for money like what the fuck? nah that apartment got smiled you and that dude you left for love you let your homegirls hype you up when you was with him 
You let them homegirls hype you up to tell you, girl, he treating you bad. He cheating on you. He messing with them girls. Don't let him embarrass you like that. Maybe she didn't want to get the police involved. Isn't that what you rappers say? All right. She got her back, so everything good. But I'm just saying, it didn't sound like no uh, abuser victim to me. It sounded like I needed that bag. And she got it, and everything good now. She fixed, everybody happy now, right? Let me see, I'm gonna read what you had to say. I really don't wanna talk to you, you ain't got no face. Do you know how much strength it takes to survive, live through abuse? You know how powerful DD is, money and power changes you. I don't know. I don't know none of that. I don't know. I've never been a victim of abuse. But I do know that it is scammers out here that just try to grab money from people. That's what I'm speaking on. Okay? I, all, of, all the people who really was abused and how your life was as a victim was hard. I have I have sympathy. Now you should call the police and shouldn't wait. If you know you shouldn't be just sitting around, you shouldn't be trying to sue them up. You should just get the abuser locked up so it don't happen to nobody else. Well, base squad. So I will say this: I agreed with some of their points, and I disagree with a lot of their points. I feel like if you're going to do a civil lawsuit, I definitely want you to press criminal charges because get this person up off the street. If he did it to you, he will do it to somebody else, and that's my only issue with these civil lawsuits. Again. That is my only issue with the civil lawsuits. I'm not saying Cassie's not a victim. She definitely is. But you have the Bill Cosby accuser coming out here almost 50 years later talking about she's a victim and she's suing, but she never pressed charges. She didn't do all these other things. It's just weird to me. That's all. It's a little strange. And I don't think these people are anti anything and pro something because they have valid concerns and critiques along with the praise. But let's get into Tasha K and Bonnie Blue. Did Jason, Jason call you? Jason called you? Yeah, we oh. called. And I thought, okay, I was just like, because I know earlier he was like, I'm waiting on a, oh no, he's waiting on the other side. Okay, we got yes. it. We did it. Okay, cool. No, yeah. but that, that might be a cute little situation right there. As soon as I was like, all right, yeah, like if we could do from this, yeah, that'll work. You know? I said, that's Bondi all day. Go ahead and call her up. Let's do okay. it. Okay. <laughs> that shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Yes, all day. But you, listen, I, you got uh, making the news, girl. Do you, do you the people over there acting like they don't know who the fuck I am and shit. Like, <laughs> I was just like, oh, oh, oh. You were the news too. Yes. No, I saw. I was like, but they don't know me. So that's all right. <laughs> I I was like, wait a minute. How Bondi get in this? <laughs> I was the last straw, bitch. I was like, I was the last straw. <laughs> me. Me. I like it. It's all love. Listen, it's all love. I don't know why she felt like that. I like the lady. It's I don't have no problems. It's all love. It's all love. We good over here. Like we I we gonna it. give everybody a great show. That's that's what, what it's about. That content. That, that's all we you know? we produce. That content. So I'm like, look at me. I'm content now. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I I'm just, tickled. I'm tickled. <laughs> Okay, I've been over here giggling my ass off. I was just looking, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was, is that what happened? Oh, oh, I forgot, child. I gotta stop smoking so much because I don't remember that. Talk myself when I said, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, wait, what just happened? Wait. <laughs> I was like, is that we, what? We good, okay. we good. I, like I said, everything is all good. We're all content creators, you know. Let's just make some great content. That's all I want, you know. Oh. And I tell anybody, listen, I sit up here all day and get in people business. It's fair game to get in mine. So if you got a platform or if somebody wanna offer you a platform, I'm gonna kick back, I'm gonna get me a glass of wine, I'm gonna watch the show. You saw me. I grabbed my popcorn. I, I was just so like, <laughs> like we learn i think it's entertaining i'm like <laughs> i do too I, girl listen i have been cackling do you hear me ever since i got hit up what two days ago i was just, it's it's been three days of bullshit i'm like what it's been a couple of days i was just like but what I, we doing tell, I tell people i say listen it's hell over there 
is hell over there. There's a part of YouTube where it's literally where the devil lives. And you will lose when you go up in there. They, they done took me down. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what the fuck? Before you know it, I'm like this. Punching the you know, I'm like, I got to go back to where I can see it's sunlight. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't live down there. It's hard. It's hot down there. It's hot. I just say you can't, can't play in my face if I can't see you. So I just, you know, like, you know, good luck with that. Like, <laughs> I, that's uh, funny. <laughs> I, listen, I, they can talk about me however the fuck they want to no, talk I about do, me. I do want to say, I do want to clear the record and say this, okay? Buddy don't fuck with nobody. Like, you don't fuck with nobody. Buddy don't even fuck with me. What are you talking about? Buddy <laughs> stick to herself. And I love that. I was just telling her that the other day. I was like, when I had first met you, right, you came in, mm -hmm. and I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, all right, because, you know, I know a lot of people be seeing videos and shit about me, so I'm like, all right, let me see if I can break the ice with her. But then something telling me, I'm like, but I don't want to be fake because I don't want to go. So I asked you, I was like, I was hoping, I was like, oh, please let her say no, please let her. And I was like, hey, girl, you want to go to Houston? And you was like, mm-mm, I'm going back to my condo and looking at the water. <laughs> I said, yeah. Woo, child, not bad bitches link up. Yes, at the end of the day, Chelsea, I hope you're not out here being messy, especially if you are a pregnant girl because this is not a good look like I said last night. At the end of the day, Barney Blue doesn't do anything to anybody, so I don't understand why you would lie on this lady. But those are just my thoughts, Bay Squad. How are y'all feeling about the topics? Comment down below. I gotta go. Bye, hoes.